here in Yuznan, I was able to farm some enemies that I mentioned the other t in my other video for the meta, the meta guard skill that I really wanted. Not those guys. Uh, which one is it? The gremlins. Well, these are these are enemies I need to mention as well. Um, there are these enemies that you'll see here in Yuznan that are tougher than usual because they have well, they have attacks that can be blocked and guarded pretty easily. They also have a heal kick that takes off something like a third of your HP bar. Uh, there are, so they're more annoying than most enemies. What's interesting about them is that they also drop an evade skill, which I'm glad I picked up because it allows me to hopefully evade strong attacks like the one this guy dishes out. So I, uh, I'll, keep, I'll mention that once I show you where I um, equip that on my garb. Man-made unit. Yeah, the Flanaders. These are the guys you probably saw me fight in an earlier video. I was farming them for Metaguard, and thankfully they drop it more often than I thought they would. <laughs> um, I was able to defeat a couple of them, and they dropped two or three. Actually, they dropped three Metaguards on me in three consecutive battles. So, Sorry I couldn't record that for you, but the good news is that they drop them more regularly than I thought they would. Which is great, because it means that I have a way to heal my HP outside of using my uh, precious EP abilities right here. You can see on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, I lost two EP because I unfortunately got into a fight with one of those skateens I showed you earlier uh, with the heel kicks. Yeah, he dropped an evade for me. The problem is I had to use some Karaga because he almost wiped out my bar. Uh, it takes a while to build up your bar using this meta guard skill. I'll show you that a bit later. I get into a combat with a normal enemy, I'll show you that skill. In fact, I should probably mention, there's the meta guard down here. I have one here, and I have another one right here. I did have meta guard on all of my outfits to replace the regular guard that I was using. Uh, in fact, I, I feel like it uses the same amount of ATB, but what's most important is that it heals my HP, even without me having to use any EP and without me having to use any potions. So it's free EP if you're facing an enemy that's easy to fight, because you aren't losing time in most of the fights you can get into at this point in the game, at least not that I've noticed. Um, so I can sit, sit, if I'm facing a weak enemy that's about to die, I can just sit there and just use Meta Guard to replenish my HP until I'm full, then I can do the last hit and wipe them out. That's my logic anyway. Haven't had a chance to use Evade yet, I'll hopefully be able to practice that on a harder enemy later. But I won't worry about it now. Uh, let's see. That's, that's pretty much the most important skill that I have so far. And with the remaining time le that I have left on this DVD, I want to mention a couple of things. On the top right-hand corner of the screen where it says 5 days left, 1347, at around noon, I believe, a lot of quests start to open up in this use non area. One of which is the quest that I just got here on Central Avenue. You might, have, you might have seen me talk to this guy in the previous video. Yeah, it's loading in a second. This guy, Gregory, had a quest for me. Yeah, stolen things. He gave me a letter. I'm supposed to talk to some kid. You probably saw this kid pick it in my previous video. He's down in the Revelers Quarry. He, steal, he steals my money. 200 gil, as I recall. And um, it's pretty easy to track them down, and maybe sometimes there are some cops in the area, and they'll, <laughs> they'll interrogate you, and you get into a fight with them. But we we'll won't have to worry about that at this point, I don't think. So what I need to do is I need to go down here to the Cactuar statue and talk to this kid. You probably also saw me in the previous video talk to a kid that was playing a musical instrument right around here, near the R in the Champions Quarter, at the end of the champ to the right of the Champions Quarter um, word right there. There's a kid playing an um, playing instrument of some sort. He's looking for songs from the musical spheres. I know where all the musical spheres are. So after we talk to that kid, um, Pickett, down here near the Cactuar statue, we're going to go south of the Cactuar statue. Actually, I think it's... Actually, I think he's in the Reveler's Quarter. Let me check. But I'm gonna, I'm, but along the way, I'm going to go to the Cactuar statue and pick up that musical sphere. I'll show you where it is. You might get into a couple of fights, but I guess for the purpose of this video, we'll just show off some of my Metaguard skill. Because I need to replenish my HP anyway. 
You know, it took me a while, but I'm finally starting to get the hang of this game just a little bit. Here we go. You can barely see that ladder up here. See? You can hear the mu you might be able to hear the music. So, I found one of the three items that I need. I need bash these. Yeah, there might be some um, bronze medals here. You sell them for money. If there if there's a quest that involves them, I don't know. I don't really need the money at this point. Okay, so you know quest. Side quest. Play it for me. Yeah, I see at the bottom of the screen here it says he's looking for nostalgic score chorus, reframe, which I just picked up, and a coda. I know where the other two spheres are, so I'll pick those up in just a second. I wanna talk I wanna talk to that kid first, that picket kid. There might be some cops around in those. Let me see what I can play. Yep, there they are. And where's Pickett? Oh, there's that Olga woman. There she is. Okay, so I can talk to her right now. Yeah, we already know. I've never been able to find her man. <laughs> so we're in a Lisa Stansfield situation, and we're not going to be able to find who she's looking for. At least not right away. Okay. Don't interrupt my cutscene. See ya. There he is. See? Stole the letter. Haha, <laughs> can't catch me. Brat. See? So that's done. So now I can go back to Gregory and solve that quest. Now, that was an easy quest if you know where to go. What do I also need to do? I need to go back to. So I need to go back to the uh, Central Avenue up here to complete that quest. I need to go to the slaughterhouse to pick up a musical sphere there. And the last musical sphere is up here in Usenon Station to the southeast. Right where that little, this little area right here. I'm actually, I'm going to have to mark it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one here. Let me make that a different color. Wait, what? Oh, forget I, forget I did that. And then we'll go red. So there's another sphere here. And another sphere down here. And you already saw me get the uh, sphere from this little uh, ladder area over here, south of the Reverse Quarter. So now you know where all the spheres are. I'm sure you could have seen a video for that. I'll probably, <laughs> I don't do visual FAQs. I probably could. You know how it is on the internet. Everyone has an FAQ. It's pretty easy to find. But these sorts of things make uh, exploring a lot easier to deal with. Okay, see if I can avoid these guys. I don't have to fight them now. I'll get into a fight later. Maybe not with these guys, but somebody else. Okay, Central Avenue is north of here. Yeah, no cops here. Thought they would respawn. They always, seem, they always seem to respawn here in the past. Not that I'm trying to get into a fight or anything. Wait. That. Yeah, another bronze medal. Bah. It's money. Okay, here's Gregory. It's complete. See, there's Pickett down there, probably. But it's more accurate to say he stole it from me. So I got a Silk Hat. More HP, which is really what matters, I guess. Okay, so this is an easy way to build HP. Because you don't build levels, really, in this game, do you? Not that I've noticed. And by the way, what's the quickest way to use non-station? Actually, I need to go to the southeast corner, right? Yeah, I gotta pick up that champion's quarter. Okay, so I'll go by the champion's quarter and talk to that kid. Because I have one of his notes. You can see who gave me the quest. This quest-giving kid up here. Yeah, this kid right here. He's looking for the notes. Yeah. See, I found one of the three. So he's the quest giver, and I'll find the other spheres for him. I'm going to get all this done before 18 o'clock or 6 o'clock p.m., because that's when the tour starts in the industrial area on the northeast side of town. And I'll show you that on my map in a bit. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yeah, so we just go to the other side of this gate, and there's a sphere right here behind. Well, I already broke, already broke the chest. Uh, I thought those chests were supposed to respawn. Well, that's the course. The code is over in Usenon Station. So we can do that. 
This place opens, I believe, at 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. You, you can pick fights with certain enemies. The problem is, is that the first enemy you fight is kind of hard. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of these armadillo-like things that has a meta guard and a carapace that's almost impossible to break. I was able to break it a couple of times. You might have seen me try to break it in a previous video, but it's a really annoying fight. It, it's super annoying. Because I haven't found the perfect way to force a stagger. Because if you stagger that um, armadillo thing, then it'll lose its carapace. You can wail on it for like 60 to 70% damage. But you know, as soon as he grows the carapace back, he starts to meta guard over and over and over again, and it's kind of hard to really wipe him out. So I guess you have to be stronger before you can wipe this dude out. Or maybe learn a skill that I don't have at the time. But we'll see. Okay, we're going north up to Yuznan. Now what's this? Yeah, I don't really need that. Sorry, dude. Okay, the musical sphere is on the other side of this. You might be able to hear it, actually. We're getting closer. That's another, that's another one of those debuff cancelers, I guess. There it is. So we got all the spheres. Yep, that's it. So that's all of them, dude. So now that we've done that, I'm kind of wishing I didn't come to this place so early in the morning. <laughs> Whoops. Not getting into a fight yet. He has a sphere over there, by the way. Do I want the sphere? There's nothing here, is there? Never mind, I got it. Haha, <laughs> ooh, blitz, awesome. Okay, this might work out after all. This is better than um, area attack anyway. Okay, um, this is another one of those area of, area of effect attacks. So I'll use this instead of the area sweep. Stagger power, stagger time, eh, whatever. Extend stagger time, huh? Here's your blitz. It's an AoE attack, which is fantastic. So it's twice as... Yeah, yeah it uses twice as much energy as the area sweep. It actually uses four times as much, yeesh. It's a lot stronger, though, which is always nice. So I got that. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? I got the uh, stolen letter quest done. I got to go back to the champion's quarter and talk to that kid. I'll have time. Because any time that I need to waste, I can then waste on the industrial area. I can't find that woman. I can't find Olga the songstress's man. I don't know what's going on there. I tried last night. I just wasn't able to find it. Yeah, the song was diva. Her. And there's that family food quest. Looking for some dude named Gordon Gourmet. No idea where he is. Might be maybe maybe it's at night, maybe it's later in the day, maybe it's and it maybe it's on another day, I have no idea. By the way, that Gordon Gourmet quest is down here in the Glutton's Quarter. You talk to one of these dudes who gives you a hairball of some sort. I think it's south of that red pen, southeast of Yuznan. There's this guy who has um some hairball and He's looking for Gorn's Gourmet, and you can, I guess, look for him later. We aren't going to do that in this video. Maybe we'll stumble across him by accident. But in the meantime, we're going to complete this quest. We'll gather the souls from that, gain the HP and experience from that, or at least the skill upgrades from that. Wait, oh, there they are. Let's see if we can dodge these guys. Okay, we're fine. Don't worry, there'll be plenty more combat inside the what you call it. Yes, yeah, plenty of combat inside the industrial area. We'll complete this quest, maybe finish up the video with some fighting. Because, you know, kids love violence, these video games. Here we go, here's an easy fight. So you'll get to see me use my meta, my meta garb. Okay, so I'll sit here, whoop, not evade. I will use the meta guard. See? I'm gaining HP down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's on two of my suits, so I'll just use both of these. See, I'm not going to take any damage. Now my HP is full, I can wail my HP is full so I can wail on this guy. Physical attacks wipe him out pretty easily. There we go. That's evade. Okay, now that we're full, back to business. That's really all he does. So since he's so easy to fight, it's an easy way for me to build on my HP back. For free. No time wasted, no HP wasted, just 
you know, real world time, not video game time. So that's cute. Wait, am I going the right way? It's like a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Okay, where do I see? I gotta talk to that kid in the Champions Quarters. I took the wrong turn. I'll be back here in a couple of game t in a couple of game hours. Don't worry. That's probably a Skatine chasing me. He's really fast, dude. Seriously. Yeah, I took the I took a wrong turn. But at least you got to see some fighting. And I'm getting down to the final uh, part of the video, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. See ya. No, I guess they did see me. Wait a minute. I think I took another wrong turn, didn't I? Yeah, crap. I gotta go south on Central Avenue to head back to that kid. But I'll do my next video in an industrial area, don't worry. I probably got to use chronostasis, which is really gonna suck. There we go. It's not horrible, it's just I don't I try not to use EP if I don't have to. Okay. I have to wait I have to run past these guys. I don't have to, I just don't feel like picking a fight right now. There we go. Ha ha. Wait, wrong way. Now they're blocking the kid. Now which way did he go? Which way did he go? Ha ha. See ya. There we go. I got the music in me. Uh, so, quest is complete. Let's see what I get for this. Holy crap. The crown of youth is just an adornment, isn't it? It's a lot of HP. Well, it's a level 2 quest. It's actually pretty easy for a level 2 quest. Uh, okay. So those are done. Uh, so what else do I? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to complete those other quests. At least I don't know where they are. I'm gonna have to do. An, I'm gonna have to consult an FAQ for those quests because looking for people in RPGs is annoying as crap. I prefer the Skyrim method of just telling you where someone is and then looking for them where you know they are. Of course, there aren't that many places to go in this map, so let's be honest. <laughs> it's a small map. We still have to look. Might be. He might be behind um, the gates that I need to sneak into. That's a possibility. Do I have any ether coils? Do I have enough poisonous stings? No. Banned goods? Nope, don't have any goblet hairballs. Don't have those flowers. Okay, I've okay, I can do that when I get back to Luxurian. Don't have any of those. Okay, some of these quests are gonna be pretty easy. But they're like tweener quests. Collectathon quest. I'm outie.